the Mexican gray wolf, the humpback whale, the sea lion. These are endangered species and they need protection. So the Endangered Species Act seems like a good idea. I want those animals protected, most of us do. But the bureaucrats always take a good idea and run too far with it. It's our job as ambassadors of this law to protect our nation's species for future generations. And so the government wants to use Ed Point of Ant's land in Louisiana to protect one type of frog. We are haunted by Casper the Frog. He's actually the Mississippi gopher frog. Point of Ant calls him Casper the Ghost because none of these frogs currently live anywhere near Ed's property. I looked it up on their website and found out that by their own publication, the frog has not been seen in the state of Louisiana because our land is not suitable for it. This frog doesn't exist in this area. It doesn't, it? it doesn't right now. It has historically. But why is it fair to impose this on this poor guy? That's a good question. Right now, there are less than 100 of these frogs in the wild. Previously, thousands. They used to be in Louisiana. And this landowner, Mr. Poitavant, has five great ponds in his property. The government went after Poitavant's land after Bill Snape's group, the Center for Biological Diversity, sued Fish and Wildlife for not doing enough to protect Casper here. The government can just say, ooh, this is a good spot? Well, technically, yes, but that isn't how I would put it. We think that Wild America is cool America. People want to protect endangered species. Absolutely. But I didn't know there were nine million species and that some go extinct all the time. Do all 400,000 species of beetles need to be preserved? Why do we need to preserve every one? Economic reasons, ecological reasons, aesthetic reasons, spiritual reasons, and ultimately these are God's creatures. There is a limit, a line, to how far we're going to go. And I don't pretend to know where that line is but I sure as heck am gonna to try to save a species. But such rules had an unintended consequence. Now landowners know that if government finds an endangered species on their land, they will take this land out of commerce to stop it from being developed. That's what they really want. So this has led to a new response called shoot, shovel, and shut up. In other words, landowners who see an endangered species on their land sometimes shoot the thing and then bury it and then shut up about it. That way you can keep using your land. Their job is to preserve endangered species. Shouldn't they preserve these things? They should, but the frog can't live on our land. It needs three elements. Well, it says you. It says the Fish and Wildlife Service. It's true. To make a new home for these frogs, the government says he'll have to change his land. Remove all the trees, replant new trees, dig ponds that have to be maintained and drained every six months, put the frogs back on, burn the forest every year. He wanted to build houses on the land. He'd gotten it rezoned for that. No problem, says Fish and Wildlife. We work with landowners. They wouldn't agree to be interviewed about Point of Ant's complaint. Instead, they posted this video. We are looking forward in working with willing landowners in Louisiana. They tell you how you can cooperate. They have, they have this handbook. It is an enormously complex, tedious, bureaucratic roadmap. 300 some pages, it's unbelievably complex. You yep. certainly couldn't have a life and deal with this. You couldn't. This is reasonable? Yeah. Absolutely. It's hundreds of pages. I think Mr. Poitivant's lawyers are capable of looking. If I can understand it, they can understand it. But this you're an environmental lawyer. <laughs> what about normal people trying to live their lives? I see why you lawyers love this. 30 days here, 40 days well, here. Okay. Well, I would probably write it a little differently, but I think it does make sure the government commits itself to a process that's transparent and fast. Fast? Er. Telling someone that they can't do something with their own property to protect an animal that doesn't even exist there meets everybody's definition of crazy. The environmental rules are supposed to preserve endangered species. Nobody's going to disagree that there isn't a core of legitimate government regulation out there. But on top of that core, which is small, there is a giant mountain of useless, life-crushing, time-wasting, paper-generating regulation. How much money are you out? $34 million. They say that is inconsequential. 
if my land can be taken for no reason and no animal at all, anybody's land anywhere, anytime can be taken. Don't sell it. Don't build a garage or a swing set on it. Don't even cut your grass. So all around America, landowners shoot, shovel, and then shut up about it.